Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is another slow cooker Sunday video and we are doing all dump and go recipes. These are really simple and some of them are really quick. So I'm very excited to share them with you. So let's go ahead and let's get started on tonight's recipe. And we are doing a lazy lasagna. It is so good. You guys are gonna love it. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so for this lazy lasagna, I have already sprayed down my slow cooker with some non-stick cooking spray and now I'm just going to kind of layer things like I typically would for lasagna so I'm going to take my pasta sauce and I'm just gonna do kind of a thin layer on the bottom and then I'm also going to um, add a little bit of pasta sauce to my ground beef probably just the rest but the very bottom I don't want that ground beef so have this on the bottom and then we are gonna do a layer of ravioli you could do some tortellini I have done that before and that is really good I actually think I have a video of that on my channel somewhere so a layer of this right down and then we are going to do our cheese. I'm using Italian style. The recipe called for mozzarella, but I thought this would be a little more like lasagna. Um, so I'm gonna do a layer of that. And then another layer of our sauce with our beef in it. Um, you could also do some Italian sausage. I think that's what the recipe actually calls for, but I didn't have any thought out. So I just used ground beef. It really doesn't matter. Kind of just whatever your family likes. So I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do all of it right here. And then I will bring y'all in closer so you can see what I'm right, doing. So one layer done. And now I'm just going to do some more ravioli right on top. It doesn't really have to be perfect. As you know, it's all going to come together and have a compile of everything. So anyways, I did a layer of this. And then another layer of our Italian style cheese. Again, you can do more or less, just depends on your family. So that is done. I'm gonna pop the lid on. Then we're gonna cook this on low for, I think it takes like three to four hours, but you could do this on high for um, like an hour and a half to two hours. So whatever you need, but we will eat this whenever we get back home. So we got caught up at church and this has been going for about four hours. So I'm hoping it's not too crispy, but I think it looks really good. So I'm going to plate this up and then I'll show y'all what that looks like. Okay, so here is dinner. It looks good, it tastes good all of the things. I think this is a really good recipe if you want um, lasagna, but you don't want to go through all the steps and it cooks fairly quickly. So I, of course, will leave the full recipe linked down below, but yeah, this is our supper. So tonight we are doing a really simple crock pot recipe and it is called a taco hash brown casserole and it only takes a couple of hours to make. So I love that. I'm actually getting to film during nap time today. So it works out perfect. So I have some hash browns here. This is a 26 ounce bag. You can use more or less. And I'm just dumping them right in the bottom of my crock pot. And then I also have, I only used about a half a pound of ground beef. You can use more or less. And I went ahead and browned it. And I'm just gonna throw that right in. This would be really great if you had leftover taco meat. Um, so you can use your taco seasoning right in with your meat. I'm actually gonna pour the whole packet right in here with everything else. And then we are also going to do one can of cheddar cheese soup. This is probably my favorite part of this recipe because I love this cheddar cheese soup and recipes. I think it is so good. So pour this in, make sure we get all of it. This is the good stuff. 
and then we are going to stir this up and then we're gonna let this cook on high for probably about two hours you just want your um, hash browns to get done and then we will come back and add some cheese on top it's gonna be so stinking good this is one of our favorites and i love how quick and easy it is um you could also let this cook on low for about four or five hours but if you're like me <laughs> we're usually in a hurry so gave that a good stir i'm going to pop the lid on and we are going to put this on high okay so i'll check this in about two hours but it'll probably take about two to three hours somewhere in that time frame okay so this has been going for about two hours and then um it was starting to get really crispy around the bottom so i just turned it on warm and my hash browns are done this looks so good so now i'm just going to put in about a handful of cheddar cheese this is optional you could also use a um mexican style cheese i think that would be really good in here but this is all i have so i'm just going to fold this in get it melted just a little bit and then um we will plate this up and try it here in just a minute okay so y'all see me taste test this stuff all the time so i thought tonight my husband would be the taste tester so here goes how is it it is really hot <laughs> sorry forewarning that's good what do you like about it well uh i like the flavor I like the cheesiness of it. Good. And uh, it's got a good texture to it, too. It's really good. Good. Okay, so the full recipe will be linked down below. So tonight for dinner, we are doing beef tips and gravy, and that is one of our favorites. I usually serve it over egg noodles, but tonight I'm just going to pour it over some pre-made mashed potatoes and make things really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you all around, and I'm going to show you all how to make it. Okay, so I just have one package of some beef stew meat, and I'm going to put this right in the bottom of my crock pot. And of course, you can adjust this to your family size, so if you have a bigger family, you can do more you can do less whatever you want to do and then I'm gonna add in one can of cream of chicken soup and then we're also gonna do a can of cream of mushroom you could probably do two cans of cream of chicken or two cans of cream of mushroom whatever you like to do but I personally love the combination of one cream of chicken and one cream of mushroom so that is what I'm doing and then I'm also going to do one brown gravy mix and pour that right in and then we're going to do a little bit of water probably about a half a cup to a cup that's just going to help make that gravy mix and then just kind of give this a nice stir and then we are just going to let this cook on low i'm starting it pretty early in the morning so we're gonna do low for about eight hours and then I'll check it um, probably in about six okay so this has been going all day long I would say at least seven to eight hours and it smells so good it did stick to my crock pot so be sure to spray your crock pot or use a liner one of these days i'm going to remember to buy a liner but this looks so good i feel like the consistency um is a really good gravy consistency so now i'm going to plate this up and i'll show you what that looks like so i think that this looks so good those beef tips i put right on top of my mashed potatoes because i think that is the perfect pairing you can also do egg noodles really any kind of carb would be great here but we chose mashed potatoes and then we did broccoli and a crescent roll i think this is the perfect little cozy meal it is a rainy day outside so i am very excited about this Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got some recipe inspiration. As always, if you are new around here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.